Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Quinn. So for today's video, I received multiple requests on doing a comparison between the Louis Vuitton Palm Spring Mini and the Nano Speedy. Today is the perfect day for me to get this video up for you guys. This video is going to be a checklist style. So we're gonna do kind of like a dance off to see which bag wins. If you guys are interested, please continue watching. To kick off the video, comment down below right now which of the two bags are your personal favorite. Then we're gonna jump right into the checklist. Here are the two minis in one video. I think this is the first time they are both in the same video. Should I just hold them up like this so you guys can see them? Um, okay, so the first thing on the list is price. The Nano Speedy retails for 1300 I think they bumped up the price, so that's the latest price on their website, just checked. And then the Palm Spring Mini retails for $1,990. Um, in terms of retail price, the Nano Speedy is way cheaper than the Palm Spring. This bag is way harder to get, so I highly doubt that most people will get it for retail price, so therefore, in terms of pricing, I would think it's gonna be the Palm Spring Mini just because I feel like it's it's way easier for you to get this at retail than this. So this one wins. Second, it's worry proof. I would have to give it to the Palm Spring Mini because you can wear this out in the rain, snow, and sun because of the treated leather. It's all black. So you won't have to worry about it getting dirty. So yeah, you can even take it out to the Sun, people take it out to theme parks and festivals. This one wins like no brainer. You can see, like, this one has a lot of Aketa leather on it, so it's not that worry proof friendly. Palm Spring wins. Next is looks. So, in terms of looks, this one's hard because they are both cute and adorable and just everything perfect. They both have their unique like look so I will have to give them both wins for look exclusivity in terms of being like unique and more exclusive I would say the nano speedy is more exclusive way harder to get than the Palm Spring mini so if you have this bag it will look more special because not a lot of people have this bag so in terms of exclusivity I would Give it to the Nano Speedy. So versatile, I would have to say the Palm Spring Mini is more versatile. You can wear it as a backpack. It has a removable strap. Um, you can wear it as a crossbody. There's so many ways to wear this bag. I have a video on like multiple ways to style this bag. I will link it up here and also down in my description box. If you're interested, check out that video. And as for the Nano Speedy, even though it's limited in ways you can wear, there's still multiple ways you can wear this bag. But one of the things I wanna point out is it's the straps is not removable, so you can wear it as a crossbody. Or if you wanna hold it as a handbag, you have to wear it with the strap dangling down or you can put it inside the bag. I also have a video on how to style this bag as well. I will link it here and down below if you guys are interested. Adjustability, it's similar to versatile, but a little bit different because you can adjust the buckles on the strap to your height. So you can wear if you're tall, short, it's very adjustable. The Nano Speedy is not so much just because the strap is one size and you cannot remove security. Both, they are both zippered bags. So you're always gonna feel safe with them. You have a zipper to secure everything in place. Roominess, I would have to give it to the Palm Spring Mini because look, you can even see that there's more room. It's a bigger bag, obviously. So there's more room for you to put your stuff inside. I'll unzip it for you guys to see. Um, there's, a, I have some stuff inside, but it's really roomy. And I'll put them side by side. See how same width, but the Palm Spring Mini is a little bit taller, so you can put more in. Maybe I do a, what am I doing? same length you just get this little bit more to put your stuff inside it's like a 
sunglasses case or something like that. Lastly is travel friendliness. I would say that the Palm Spring Mini is more travel friendly than the Nano Speedy. Honestly, it's because of the treated black leather. It's not gonna get dirty and you can just wear it to the airport and you don't have to worry about it, so. So in totality, the Palm Spring received a checkbox and then the Nano Speedy only got three. Therefore, the Palm Spring Mini is the winner. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I'm gonna share with you my personal favorite. If you have not already guessed throughout the video, I definitely prefer the Palm Spring Mini over the Nano Speedy just because of everything that we went over. This is just more my type of bag. I'm a more carefree type of person. I just don't want to have to worry about my handbags and I gravitate towards this bag way more when I go out or just do anything. If you guys follow me on Instagram, like I wear it all the time. So um, I do want to let you guys know though, I'm putting up this Nano Speedy up for sale and I want you guys to be the first to know about it. I know it's really hard to get. And so if you're interested, please DM me on Instagram at Quinn on Ho. I will also link it down in the description box below. I will put off posting this bag on any resale website or on my Instagram until after this video is posted. So then you guys have a chance to get this bag if you are interested in this. I'm just surprised that I'm even selling this bag because I thought that I will keep it forever. Um, yeah, it's just so sad, but I haven't used it since like a year and a half plus since before we went into like quarantine and COVID. So, and it's like still so new. And I think it would just be better if this goes to a new home, someone that can actually appreciate it. So yeah, just DM me if you guys are interested. Like always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Comment down below and let me know which ones are your personal favorites and do you agree with my checklist? Uh, maybe a little bit biased. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the post notification bell to get notified when I post next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!